Well, to get more an analysis on the turbulent situation in the Middle East, uh, I'm joined live now by Alexander Coburn, an American political journalist. He joins us from Olympia in Washington State. Thanks for being with us. Uh, we're getting reports today that Colonel Gaddafi is now officially a legitimate target and NATO does aim to kill him. Uh, do you think they have the authority to do that? Absolutely not. There's absolutely no no possibility that Security Council's Resolution 1970 and 1973 permit that. The resolutions, as you well know, were to, to try and ensure the safety of civilians. How this is transferred into an assassination attempt, which they've been trying for weeks now, of course, uh, is uh, beyond any reason. It's, it's uh, absurd to claim it. Uh, if I were to ask you to go into further detail about how you would describe the alliance's methods for regime change in Libya, what would you say? Well, they've, been, they've, been, they've obviously been trying to kill Gaddafi. They've flown now, uh, I think it's 10,000 missions, NATO, the air missions, um, of which about 3,500 have been bombing. Actually, um, what it really is is testament to the futility of the entire military operation. It's clear that the the rebels have no military clout whatsoever. They're mere uh, a decoration on the NATO enterprise, which is to overthrow the uh, the government of Libya, which of course the French what right at the beginning of March declared the rebels the the legitimate government, and now Britain has followed suit. The United States has followed, followed suit. All this does, I think, is bring universal discredit on the entire uh, synergy between the UN resolutions from the Security Council, which were outrageous in the start, and um, the NATO enterprise, which is exactly what we've just said. It's an attempt to overthrow the government of Libya. Uh, I spoke to uh, Secretary General uh, Anders Fogh Rasmussen on Thursday uh, and asked him uh, about the mission. He said that NATO in no way uh, is aiming to kill civilians or individuals in any way. But at the same time, we get reports constantly of civilian casualties. Do you think we're going to see the same kind of cleanup that we saw uh, after Yugoslavia? Well, I mean, you know, when you bomb clean, I'm not sure what you mean by cleanup, but uh, but. Uh, uh, I mean, damage control, um, of course, in terms of mm -hmm. what we saw with the Chinese embassy in Yugoslavia, them after, oh, yeah. kind of within the alliance, uh, not agreeing on what happened and how to deal with it afterwards. Yeah, I mean, the fact of the matter is that no war in history has ever, no conflict has ever been shortened by bombing cities from the air. It just doesn't happen. You infuriate that you, first of all, kill people, innocent people. Secondly, you infuriate the inhabitants of the city. You, you aggravate tensions. The other day, the International Crisis Group, which is an independent, fairly reasonable group of retired diplomats and so forth, said that the entire NATO exercise, the way it's been conducted, is ensuring the prolongation of it. Well, what is an Ill internationally illegal enterprise and uh, is making it far more difficult to have any settlement, which is obviously true. What is distasteful is to see the collusion of the International Criminal Court, which the day after they accelerated their raids last Tuesday immediately came forward with these new accusations of Gaddafi's crimes against humanity, an international a mighty rape program, which has been denounced as almost certainly untrue by Amnesty International just now. In fact, if you look at the entire history, there's almost no serious data given to the claims that Gaddafi was committing so-called crimes against humanity, genocide, or even major massacres. Mr. Coburn, uh, I'd just like resolution. to turn to uh, uh, Syria quickly while we have time. Some key NATO members are pushing for a new resolution against the regime in the country, something Russia and China strongly oppose. Do you think it will be passed? No. I don't think so. But obviously, uh, I think, yeah, there'd be a certain amount of caution, even perhaps on the part of the United States. I don't know. I don't think it'll pass. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Uh, Alexander Coburn joining us live via broadband from Washington State.